This is the plaintiff, Elaine Berry. She says she purchased a defective stove from the defendant with a two-year parts and labor warranty, and the louse refuses to honor it. That's right. She's had nothing but problems with that darn stove, and since the defendant refuses to fix it correctly, she wants her purchase price of $575 to return, so she's suing. This is the defendant, Paul Sklars. He says a year and a half after the plaintiff had the stove, she called to complain the oven door fell off. The woman misused the stove, causing the damage. But to be a good businessman, he replaced the door with a new one. A few months later, she said the door didn't fit right. She demanded a whole new stove. So uh, here they are. He's accused of heating things up. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Letting it have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay. Ms. Berry, you purchased in May of 2018 a brand new Crosley stove from Mr. Sklarz's appliance store, correct? Yes. How much correct. did you pay? I paid, um, you mind? 575? 575. Okay. And that included a two year warranty for parts and labor? Yes. What was the first thing to go wrong? The door handle fell off the oven. How soon? No, excuse me, wait. First, the light bulb blew while I had something in the oven, and the light bulb blew, okay? And that was when? Um, how, that, how long had you had it? A week. Okay. okay, and what did you do? I tried to call him on the phone, couldn't get through, so I drove up there and um, told him about it, and he gave me another him light bulb. Him personally or someone else? Him personally. And he gave you what? Another light bulb. He gave you a bulb, so you just changed the bulb yourself? Well, I had somebody else change it. Okay, and then uh, what's the next thing that went wrong? The door handle fell off. Okay, how did it fall off? It just fell off. I went to open the door, and it fell off. Okay. Uh, but I, I'm having trouble, like, uh, like, how does that happen? Did, like, was it hanging a little bit, or did it fall all off? It just like, fall off. I, I, it it was, so no, where did it end up? In your hands, on the floor? How? It, how? It, it, okay, when it fell off, one side fell off. Okay, and then it was hanging, and then it just fell all, all the way off. Okay. So what did you do? I um, I called him and told him. And? And um, he sent the repairman out. Okay. Okay, but before I called, yeah, I called, he sent the repairman out. And then it fell off a couple of times. Okay, and I had my husband, he screwed, he, he said when he feel it getting loose, he would screw it back on. Okay. okay. But it was just falling off too many times. Okay, so. do you recall these phone calls or these, um, do you have any record of these service calls? Because in your answer to the complaint, you seem to start, like the first thing that went wrong was a year and a half later. Do you remember these problems? I do, Your Honor. Okay. The light bulb was broke and crashed and smashed and we offered to replace it at no charge and we did. It was broken, but, trashed and smashed. What does that mean? Well, it. It doesn't mean that it was broken on its own accord. It might have been damaged maybe by putting Wait, a tree in. Wait, are you testifying to or... me that the original light bulb was damaged? Correct. How, how did you see it? Uh, she brought the base of the socket into my store, and I handed her one to replace. And so you never simple. saw the bulb in question? Just the lamp that came out that was destroyed. Just the lamp? Not at the premises in okay. my store. So when you say it was destroyed, what were you physically looking at in your store? The, the lamp, socket with the, what, pieces of glass? The pieces of glass looked like they were cracked, and then the socket was with the pieces of glass. It looked like it was a shattered lamp. Right, but when, when you, I mean, That's the fine the folks incident. at Crossley have to know that you're putting stuff into the oven and taking stuff out of the oven. Yes. You're not dancing in the oven. Yes. You're not like, so how is it that normal use of an oven would cause that to break as opposed to that something was wrong with the bulb or something. You know? I have no idea. Okay, anyway, that got taken care of. And do you remember the yes. handle stuff? I remember the handle incident, yes. Okay, it so that got taken care of. Everything's going fine for about a year, and then what happens? The whole stove fell apart. Now, okay, the, the be more door. specific. The uh, door, what happened? Okay, the handle came off. When the handle came off, I had to jump back because the rest of the door just came down. How did it, I've never had that happen, so I, I don't understand. The Here's entire door falls off the hinge. What, is it on? It's on hinges, right? Is it on hinges? It is, Your Honor. So what happened? It loosened and came down. Did it stay hinged, but then the 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 uh, elasticity went, and so it hit the floor, or did the whole thing come 
off? What are you saying? Okay, so first, when it came off, it fell down and hit the floor. The whole thing detached the completely. No. No, just the front, instead of stopping at a natural point, went all the way down. That's what right. you Right, it okay, went I all got the it. way down. Okay. And then, okay, and this is the picture right here I have. It went all the way down, and then I just left it like that and took pictures, and then the whole thing just fell all apart. Just after hanging down like this, it just came all apart. Okay, so okay. let me, can I see that? Yes. And, and did you and call him? Yes, I did. Okay, and what happens? I told him about the door. He said he gonna have somebody come out. He couldn't believe that it fell apart. Okay, he said he's not, gonna come neither out. Neither can I if I didn't see it with my own <laughs> eyes and if your tech didn't see it with his own eyes because he right. went out there and it was true, right? Right. So right. I have another picture I couldn't get off my phone. I couldn't find it. But Show it to me in your phone. Oh, you couldn't find it in your in phone? In my phone. I, I'm not good with these phones. All right, that's fine. Well, okay. you're doing fine. Go so, ahead, and then what happens? Okay, so then the whole thing fell, fell out and then it was just the railings right there. And my daughter came and went in the kitchen and she tripped over the railings because the glass and all that stuff fell out and it just had wait, to- Wait, what do you mean? Wait, wait, come, come on up, daughter. What uh -huh. are you talking about? The you don't need to move, oh. stay right where you are. Okay. What, are you t what is she talking about when she says you tripped over railings? Why don't you just when, stay clear of the broken stove? When the door wasn't there, it was like two uh, metal things sticking out. Why are they sticking out? Because the know. door came out of. Like what on the, the side where you the picture you're looking at now, excuse me. The picture you're looking at now has the two things on the side. They yeah, have right there on the sides of the door. Okay. So when the rest of when it fell, the door fell out, it was still just them two things there. Yeah, to tape them up, woman. Why are they you letting your daughter trip up. over them? You know that the thing is broken. It didn't come All right, up. so what happens? Okay. You call him and you go out there or you send your tech out there. I do. And your tech says, we got to take the whole door and replace the whole door. Well, he called me first and he advised me that the door was laying on the floor. It, it, it physically came off. And I asked him if it came off and it's laying on the floor, how do you think that happened? He said it probably it fell off the hinges, but that's uncommon. Very. It's, uh, it's uncommon because I say, Your Honor, is the hinges are, are attached with a little clip that prevents the door from sliding off. And the clips have to be... We, taken off and then actually pulled off the hinges and then placed on the floor or fell Unless on the floor. Unless it's faulty. Yes, Because exactly. I would have never imagined exactly. I would see this in my life. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at it yeah. in this picture. And you know what I'm saying? A, like if she didn't take this picture, I'd say, she's making that up. Yeah, that's about a year it after. It can't bend that way, you know? Yes, that's correct. But this is really unusual. This is unusual. Um, Excuse me, I have a refrigerator <laughs> where they say the door was stripped, screws, and in a socket that it goes in. The okay, but that's stripped. about the handle. Okay. Right. No, this is okay. this is but this the is really held everything together. Yeah, but now the okay. handle being stripped means that the holes where the screws are. That oh, has, you okay. Know. All right. And uh, by then, your husband had also tinkered with it, but that, okay. that doesn't matter. That's behind okay. us, and this is worrying me. Yeah. And so you send your guy, and what does your guy do? I instructed him to bring the door into my shop so we could examine it, look at it, and fix it, which we can do, and we, or and we did. We ordered the new parts for it. What's the new there parts was, you ordered? Okay, here's what happened. When the screws became stripped, the handle fell off, the glass is held on with the screws, Oh. and then there's a frame that fits around where the glass fits. That was bent out of shape, as if it was either caught on or bent over. Or too over-tightened? Or overused. Or, oh, yeah, so we, I stand corrected. That, that handle okay. does have something yeah. to do with it. So, All right, yeah. go on. So when it was brought back to the shop, Your Honor, and we looked at it, we addressed the problem by ordering new parts for it. What new, new screws, parts did the you The handle order? was stripped, the handle, the screws, and then we, cl we cleaned it, and then we reassembled it, and then in our shop we tested a door at our shop facility that has an, a makeup system for an oven door. I don't know what you just said. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff says that she purchased an oven from the defendant, the door fell off, and her daughter keeps tripping over it. But the defendant says he's doing what he can, but for her, nothing's enough. Let's go back inside the courtroom. We have a, another oven that we tested that door on after we What'd completed you do? the you repairs. You took off the door that's on that oven the, and put this correct, door? Correct, exactly. Because all oven doors are pretty common within five years. I find years. that hard to believe. They don't make, they, well, we have the same range in sale now in I our stock. I find that so hard to believe. The Just range, as a person who's lived 58 long years, 
I don't find people doing a lot of, I don't even find my mechanic doing sufficient testing before they hand it back to <laughs> we me. Did. Okay. Uh, we did. I, we so had a you literally are telling me that you took the door off of an oven, put, installed the door, door to make sure the door worked. All right. In any event, your guy goes to the house, puts in the door, right? We returned the same day or the day after because. Put it in and you have a complaint. And what is your complaint? Okay, the, um, okay, here's a picture right here. The door that he put in, well, he told me he's gonna give me a new door. Okay, not a rebuilt door. He said he's gonna give me a new door. Okay, so the door that he put in, it has steel pieces sticking out of it. So if the- Where? Uh, right in front of the oven, where if I'm walking by and I have a dog, I have a video. I can show okay, you the I'm video. Okay, I'm gonna look at the video now. Let me see the pictures that you have. Okay, and steel I call it- Steel pieces where? In between the oven door and that drawer? On the outside of the oven door. On the outside of the yeah. oven. Yeah, and it's another plastic strip on the outside and then it's a steel piece. Okay, the video- Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. When you bought this oven, this thing was smooth, yes. right? Yes, yes. There was nothing sticking out. Nothing. What is this thing sticking out? That was an aftermarket bracket or a brace that we had purchased. Okay, that was when supposed you to re repaired the door. Repair and afterwards. now we're going to see what the aftermarket brace Frame. creates in the home of a woman that loves to cook. <laughs> and loves to cook meat. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm a big meat fan. Don't okay. worry about it. But it's like, Long I'm sitting there saying, good. how could it produce this much grease? Anyway, let's take <laughs> yeah. a look. Hello, Judge Milan. Milian. Oh, Milian. This is my stove I bought from, Cro my Crosby stove I bought from Paul, okay? This door had fell apart, okay? When you see, and he took the parts and pieced it together. Now, this piece right here, which is, I don't know what that piece is right there, is not sealed to the door. It catches grease. See that? And then he got this metal bar right here, which get hot and burn you. It can cut you. And it's a grease trap. Now, look at that. Look. Just look at that. Move, Bruno. Look at that. See that? Okay. And that grease will roll <laughs> Bruno's down not moving. Here. Bruno likes that. That's right. Okay. See, and I didn't buy the stove like this. It was perfect. It didn't have pieces sticking out, okay? Hair. And it Who's that? Is that you? <laughs> Hair. And, and when I go to clean the stove right here, I get electric shock from this plug right here, this hmm. switch to turn the oven light on. That's where the oven light broke out. And what else? I just don't want a stove like that. I don't want a grease trap or to burn or cut myself. Thank you. <laughs> That's fabulous. <laughs> um, you know, a picture says a thousand words, a video does even more. Um, she, you know, she bought a stove. The stove has a two-year warranty. Um, when you fix something, why should she have to put up with this aftermarket piece that comes out? It's not what she bought. So why does she, as a consumer, not get the benefit of her warranty and have, you know, something that's tight and right? She bought something tight and right, and then she also bought a warranty, a two-year warranty, which I guess the first year is on the manufacturer and the second year is on you? Yes. Yeah, yes. That's why she's not getting a new stove, because you don't want to buy her a new stove. But if she's within the, the, the warranty period, explain to America why she should have to put up with the little grease trap aftermarket thing. I have no, I have no answer to your question, Your Honor, for that reason that I don't know it. But at the same time, that's the way it was shipped to me, and that's the way I assembled it. And right. at the same time, I did that. Right, but now I'm asking you a question, because we're in court, you're being sued to honor a warranty. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't I make you honor the warranty? And I a warranty means we're going to make it the way it was before it broke down. It doesn't mean, you know what? From now on, you've got a piece of metal sticking out, a, a, a rubber. Is the top one rubber? I, plastic. Yeah. The plastic, and then the one underneath is metal. Metal. You know, so when you're, when you, do you cook? No. All right. Okay. Let me explain to you. Right, but you know, you you're by the up, you're uh, you're you're here, and you come close, and then you burn your shin, or your right. dog walks by. You know, no, it's that's it's not something she has to put up with. I'm finding in favor of the plaintiff. You're entitled to a new stove. You're within the warranty period. Okay. You bought a warranty, and you get a warranty. Okay. Five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Verdict for the plaintiff. Thank Good you, luck, folks. Well, the plaintiff has very proved her case. Mr. Sklars, she gets a new stove. What are you thinking? 
Well, you know, I think that she's probably entitled to a new stove, but that's not, not my obligation. It should be the manufacturer's obligation. Yeah, I she's did, undercovered under warranty. Yes, and I fulfilled my obligation by bringing the stove back to her home so she could use it during the holidays and utilize the stove. And the oven was cooking. It was performing. And then if she had other issues, she should have maybe voiced some issues to me in a stronger effect, and I would have addressed them without no complaint. So I'm happy with the verdict. If I have to make restitution, I'll do what I have to do because I enjoyed coming on people's court. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Well, and she's then, going to get a new look stove yeah, from you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I understand. No question. I understand. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, thank you. you. You just lost the stove. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> thank you my very first much. and one my last. All okay? right. Good enough. Thank All you, right. sir. Thank All righty. All right, Ms. Barry. Very shrewd of you to do that okay. video. It uh, helped. Yeah, I knew it would. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you like the stove, basically? Yeah, it did what it's supposed to do. I'm a baker. I love to bake meat. Okay? So if you get a new one, then you're going to be happy? Yes, yes, as long as it don't fall apart. Well, he said you're going to get one. Okay. You won your case? Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Well, good enough. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Harvey? You know, Doug, the defendant said in the hallway that she should take this up with a manufacturer. Well, she could have, but she chose to go after him, which she can do. The reality is he can go after the manufacturer if he wants to and try to recover if it was a manufacturer's defect.